Forever International. We come here today to talk about our lives and our story. A little about Friends Forever is that it brings great opportunity. It's a strong way to build our leadership, our life, and social skills. It also has brought me and Jackson very close, along with our group, Raiders for Change. We do many life-changing things, such as food pantries, we go to homeless shelters, and we also visit uh, elderly homes. This is such a small step in our big pro program, but it changes Jackson and I lives, our group lives, people around us and in, in our environment. Please enjoy. Hello, my name is Jackson Parker. I'm from Rochester, New Hampshire, the United States, and I was born on November 12, 2001. Some of my favorite hobbies are playing basketball and watching sports with my family. My name is Katie Raymond. I'm also from Spalding High School, and I'm a junior. Uh, I was born on May 9, 2001, just like Jackson. Uh, I also play basketball, and I do soccer and softball, and I love New England sports teams. So I've grown up in Rochester my entire life, but not all of my family members have been there as I have. My, only me, my brother, and my dad have lived in Rochester our entire lives. My mom was born uh, up north. My sister was, was born in Dover. And through living in Rochester, I've known a lot of people that I still know today. Uh, I was born in Laconia, New Hampshire. Some of you know New Hampshire now. Um, but I lived there only for two years. Uh, when I was only two, we moved to Rochester. My mom was born uh, on the other side of the country, and my father was born and raised on the opposite side. Uh, they met together, and they had me, and then my youngest sister when she was three. Uh, when I was three, or when I was five, we moved to Maine, which is another state in the United States. Uh, we grew up in this big, beautiful home, and we had such a good time, great memories. And when I was only in seventh or sixth grade, uh, we had to move out of that house due to a lot of family challenges, uh, and I got bullied because of those things. So my family decided it was a good idea to pack up and head to a smaller school and restart. Once I was settled, in that school, uh, I also faced more financial problems, and my family decided we had to start over again. My family took me to Rochester, Spalding High School, which is where we're all from, and that what brought me to this amazing opportunity that I have here today talking in front of all of you. Both me and Katie got involved with the French Ever program because we both wanted to strengthen our leadership skills and test our comfort limits. And we felt like doing this program would help us achieve these goals, but also reach other life goals that help us succeed. And it would lead us to a bigger and even brighter future for not just ourselves, but other people around us. Even though me and Jackson do have a lot in common, and uh, we really do find this group to be one of the best things, we think that we do have some different opinions and ideas on this group. Uh, Jackson wants to bring home uh, more opportunity to his hometown that he's born and raised in and still lives. He also wants to improve on his communication ability in crowds, such as what we're doing right now, which is very nerve-wracking for me and Jackson, but it's definitely something that we want to work on. For myself, I want to find my future in this project. I, carry on, I want to carry on my career and what I'm doing right now. Um, I also have a very big fear of <laughs> talking in front of everyone. So overcoming this is just definitely something me and Jackson wanted to work on. We saw, the chain, we saw the chance to be able to do this from the start. We also want to do this program because me and Katie both have had little to no prior experience with leadership skills, and we felt that doing this program would help us gain those skills and even more along the journey that we have embarked on. So I always see myself being a very busy and full and prosperous person. Uh, I love being out of my comfort zone, such as what I'm doing right now. Uh, we both come from two, me and Jackson come from completely different homes, but we are raised in completely different ways. Our childhood was, had very little things in common. As you can tell, Jackson was homegrown. I moved a lot and had a lot of transitions. Our story is a reasonable ex example of our mixed cultures here we have in the world. Small differences turn into huge re relations, and this turns into major connections that we all can have. These connections can change our lives forever. If you look to your left, you can look to your left at a person. If you look to your right, even in front or behind you, there's someone near you.
there's someone around you, and you know you all came from different hometowns, different parents, you were raised in different ways, but with one small connection, it can change a lot of things. We aren't the same, but once you find a similarity, you're friends forever. Thank you.